So my most recent film is called Heroin's Grip. It's a story about the opioid crisis. And that one, I had, I had one interview where I wanted the interviewee to look directly into the lens because I wanted him to speak to the audience. And so I had him do that. And it was very powerful. The film is toward the end of the film where he looks directly in the camera and speaks to the audience. And that's really the only time I would have, that's my preference, the only time I'd have someone look into the lens. If, if I know they want to speak, I want them to speak directly to the audience you know, from their heart. Uh, that's, that's what I do. It's, it's, that's the one you would do the least is in the lens. That's very, it's very uncomfortable. Right. Um, and it's, it's very, yeah, it, it's, it's a very specific it feeling. Yeah, so generally you get a better a better result off camera. But if you're really going for something that's piercing, you just know that you're you're kind of playing with fire, looking in the lens because it makes people uncomfortable if it doesn't come off 100% genuinely. 99% of the time, no. No practicing. No You're practicing. Right. <laughs> because I have found out when I do, then they try to remember what they wrote. Yep. <laughs> and that's just hell. Or they bring it with you. Can I put this piece of paper right here? Can I, I take know. it to the camera? I say no. <laughs> no. I don't let them have any notes because then they're always referencing their notes. And you're, you're not having that really strong interaction. And, and it also helps them. The longer you do the interview, the more they relax. And sometimes you can circle back to those earlier questions and come back to that, maybe restate it in a different way, and you pull out of them what you're looking for. And so, uh, yeah, I just, I just don't, they know the general idea of what we're going to be discussing uh, most of the time. Uh, sometimes they don't, like, you're working on my film Thirsty Land, we were in Sacramento, and I was on YouTube one night, and I found this YouTube story of this family down in this, down near Bakersfield, who was dealing with water issues, they were having to haul water, they were helping their neighbors haul water, and looked at my camera guy and said, we're going to Bakersfield tomorrow. And we showed up unannounced, and we stuck a camera in their face. They're like, okay, yeah, we'll do the interview. And it was, you know, within 30 minutes, we were sitting down shooting an interview with these people, you know, about their story. It was amazing. It's kind of the highlight of the movie now. And so sometimes those spontaneous things like that, you really get the real deal, you know, because it's not rehearsed. <laughs> oh, my, yes. I've even had, and this is for a corporate client who brought in the eye candy for the, for the shoot, and we ended up ditching all that footage and getting a voiceover done because she couldn't even read, even off the script, you know, it was terrible. So yeah, there's times when, there's times when you think an interview is going to go amazing because you speak to them on the phone or you have that dialogue with them, wow, they're so great, and then you get there and it's just not happening, so.